Welcome Gemini to your November 2017 forecast by me Ali from HypnoU. So this month on the 15th of November through till January the 11th you have Mercury retrograde shadow periods start and finish. Now for me I feel like this energy is going to have something to do with March of 2016. Same feeling, same situation, it's coming back on the table, may not be exactly the same people or it is but the same kind of feelings are there, the same kind of decisions, the same kind of argument, the same kind of uh, opportunity coming back whatever it is Mercury retrograde brings people situations exes uh, opportunities and emotions back on the table for you to revisit it to renegotiate it to renovate it to have a, um, a good discussion about it, to get closure to be able to move on from or to gain that opportunity that you missed or that you felt you were um, missed out on so you have the knight of pentacles at your work study or finance and career this card here saying is that there is a earth sign uh, taurus virgo or capricorn who is offering you a position a job practical tangible help uh, and this is coming as a lucky break now the horse there says this is showing me this is going to be uh, round about the 15th it could be the week just before as you can feel the energy just before and this is about a new position now this position could be taking over somebody else's position this is that they're letting you know now to get you and prepared for that or that you are you're hearing about it now before you have to act because what you're doing is you're standing here looking down taking the lay of the land the emotions the situation getting everything sorted before you start your role for others this is about hearing that things are that there's um, going to be some layoffs at work there's going to be some cutoffs at work you find that your position is fine uh, luckily you are not going to lose yours this is also about short distance travel so you might find that you uh, are now going to be uh, traveling a short distance to get to work this is also about um, protecting what you've already earned protecting your status protecting your skills so you might uh, find that you have to to do um, upskill that you need to do continued education every single year to do that this is also about taking charge of your growth and your future to do with your career your fin finances or your study for the students this is about okay well I'm done now and I've got great grades and I want to go into that area next so having that lucky break things falling into place and getting that that's what you want there is an element of I'm researching I'm looking I've had some kind of offer um, and I'm going to get prepared before I accept that offer now at home we do have the three of swords this is Air, um, Aquarius Gemini or Libra this is a Gemini reading where you feel a loss there is a loss at the moment now this could be something that you've lost a person you've lost there's been a split in the family you feel betrayed you feel hurt uh, heart sore there's been some sort of shock around the home now this is um, you could be feeling uh, bitterness betrayal you could be feeling like um, you've had something with your health which feels like a loss or, or sudden or out of the blue this card is uh, swords which are you know uh, you're worrying anxious about this this is acute and crisis so this whatever this is has come out of the blue and you weren't expecting it it's quite a shock um, as well this also could be the shock of hearing something uh, that makes you feel betrayed um, but this is around the home it's interesting because you've got the shock and you've got the um, you know, for some of you this is infidelity some of you this is you know finding out that there's been betrayal there's been infidelity to do with a partner for others this could be about a family thing this could be a heart attack this could be acute health issues this could be a sudden loss or sudden sudden grief sudden health issue back on the table uh, or a sudden health issue that you've not experienced before but being mercury retrograde this could be something that's happened before that suddenly comes back out of the blue for others though this is for love the three of cups so this is something to celebrate so this shock could be oh my god I'm pregnant this could be oh my god and then whatever that health issue is it actually brings you to attention of that health issue um, and then you're able to get great results from that because this is something to celebrate with love with your partner 
So if you're single, this is going out to a group function, a family function, a work function, and meeting someone who could be quite serious that there's you know harvest from that. Those of you in a committed relationship, you're celebrating something this month together as a couple, something bearing fruit. Um, your car, son is sitting in the sixth house all month. So that's your work, uh, shining light on that, warmth on that, highlighting that all month for you. In your health, it, uh, six is also your health. So this is your health, this is your day, this is your routine and your work. So where that looks and at your home, this is your day or your health. There's a sudden shock there. You do for your health have the king of wands, which is about going and seeing a specialist the Leo is about children. It is about um, the leader. So this is seeing a specialist. Um, and Leo is about children and fertility uh, and also inherited. So this could be something you've inherited. This could be something to do with children. This could be something to do with pregnancy as well. But uh, it looks like... One, two, three, four. It could look... Uh, it, so if this is about miscarriages and children, there could be that you've had one, you've had a long break before you decided to have another one, you had one, and then there might have been a miscarriage, and then you find that you're pregnant straight away again, which was quite a shock. If it's not to do with miscarriage, then this is about trying to get pregnant. This could be your third or fourth try. So your during virtue messages from the angels, Gemini, is abundance. So this here is about thinking do I have all the resources I need? Will I be able to do the job? Researching the job, researching what it is that you've been offered. And this is about abundance. Now, this is also abundance and love and opportunity and um, money. So whatever you're celebrating, this is abundance of that. So be kind to you and those you love, and I shall see you next month.